Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about pancreas ultrasound reporting. We will only talk about pancreatic pathologies. This is not a complete abdominal ultrasound report. The first case is acute pancreatitis. The clinical history in this example is acute abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. These are the findings. You can write the pancreas is enlarged and heterogeneous in echotexture with ill defined margins. There are hypoechoic areas within the pancreas suggestive of edema. After that, you can write whether the pancreatic duct is dilated or not. In this example, it was dilated with a diameter of 6 mm. Then you can write about the common bile duct. And after that, you can write about gallstones or biliary duct dilation. And here is the impression. The findings are suggestive of acute pancreatitis with edema and Pancreatic ductal dilatation. It is important to write clinical correlation is recommended because a diagnosis is not entirely done on ultrasound alone. Now we move on to chronic pancreatitis. The clinical history in this case was chronic abdominal pain and history of alcohol abuse. In the findings for chronic pancreatitis, you can write the pancreas is hyperechoic with calcifications and lobular contour. And after that, you can write whether the pancreatic duct is dilated or not. In this case, it was dilated with a diameter of 5 millimeters. After writing these statements, you can write about the CBD and comment on gallstones or biliary ductal dilatation and in the end you can write about free fluid in the abdomen. In the impression you can write findings are suggestive of chronic pancreatitis with calcifications and a dilated pancreatic duct if the pancreatic duct is dilated. And in the end, you can write, clinical correlation is recommended. This is a case of pancreatic atrophy. The clinical history was abdominal pain and history of chronic pancreatitis. In the findings for pancreatic atrophy, you can write, the pancreas is hyperechoic and atrophic and then you can write about the pancreatic duct and write its measurement. In the impression you can write findings are suggestive of pancreatic atrophy and then you can write about the pancreatic duct and its measurement followed by this line. The appearance is consistent with chronic pancreatitis and in the end you can write about clinical correlation. This report example is of pancreatic pseudocyst. The clinical history was abdominal pain and history of acute pancreatitis. These are the findings. A well-defined cystic lesion with internal echoes is identified in the pancreatic tail or body wherever it is found. And then you can write its size. There will be no internal vascularity in a pseudocyst. After these lines you can write about the pancreatic duct. In the impression, you can write, findings are suggestive of a pancreatic pseudocyst. 
then you can write its location and after that you can write about pancreatic ductal dilation and in the end you can write clinical correlation is recommended now we will talk about pancreatic duct stones the clinical history was abdominal pain and history of chronic pancreatitis in the findings you can write about the hyperechoic pancreas with calcifications the pancreatic duct is usually dilated here it is dilated with a diameter of 8 millimeters and contains multiple echogenic foci suggestive of stones in this example the patient had chronic pancreatitis so in the impression the findings are suggestive of chronic pancreatitis with calcifications and dilated pancreatic duct containing multiple stones clinical correlation is recommended our next case is cyst adenoma the clinical indication can be an incidental finding on imaging its findings include a well defined cystic lesion that is usually identified in the body of the pancreas the cystic lesion has internal septations and solid components and appears to be a complex cyst this is the impression findings are suggestive of a complex cystic lesion in the pancreas likely a cyst adenoma clinical correlation is recommended and you must also write further imaging or biopsy may be necessary for definitive diagnosis a microcystic adenoma can also be an incidental finding on imaging its findings include multiple small well defined cystic lesions which can range from 2 to 5 mm these cystic lesions have thin smooth walls and are uniform in size and shape these findings are consistent with a microcystic adenoma in the impression we can write findings are suggestive of multiple small microcystic adenomas in the pancreas and in the end we must write clinical correlation is recommended and further imaging or biopsy may be necessary for definitive diagnosis here is a case of pancreatic adenocarcinoma the clinical history was abdominal pain and weight loss in the findings you can write a hypoechoic mass and then you can write its location followed by its size if the pancreatic duct is dilated you must mention it and write its size as well in this example there was also invasion of the common bile duct with biliary ductal dilatation measuring 1.5 cm in diameter this is the impression for adenocarcinoma findings are suspicious for pancreatic adenocarcinoma then its location is written followed by the involvement of pancreatic duct and its invasion into the common bile duct with biliary ductal dilatation the impression ends with the line of clinical correlation and further imaging or biopsy now we will look at insulinoma it has a somewhat specific 
clinical history which will include hypoglycemia. These are the findings for this example. A well-defined hypoechoic mass is identified in the body of the pancreas measuring 2 cm in diameter. There is no evidence of associated pancreatic ductal dilation or calculi. No evidence of invasion into adjacent structures. Color Doppler examination reveals no significant vascularity within the mass. This is the impression. Findings are suggestive of a well-defined hypoechoic mass in the body of the pancreas, likely an insulinoma. No evidence of associated pancreatic ductal dilation or calculi. Clinical correlation is recommended and further imaging or biopsy may be necessary for definitive diagnosis. Now we will look at metastasis. The clinical history here was history of cancer and suspicion for metastasis. In the findings for this example, a well-defined hypoechoic mass is identified in the pancreas and it was 2 cm in diameter. It has a smooth border and appears to be encapsulated. You can write these findings in the impression and due to a history of cancer, this hypoechoic mass is likely representing a metastasis. This is a case of pancreatic injury. The clinical history here is trauma to the abdomen. In the findings, there is a heterogeneous appearance of the pancreas with areas of hypoechoic and hyperechoic parenchyma, suggestive of pancreatic injury. There is also evidence of fluid collection adjacent to the pancreas, measuring 3 cm in diameter in this example. In the impression, you can write Findings are suggestive of pancreatic injury with a heterogeneous appearance of the pancreas and evidence of adjacent fluid collection. Clinical correlation is recommended and further imaging may be necessary for definitive diagnosis and management. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.